Okay, so in this video we're just going to look at um, uh, modelling a particular type of overlay or section of overlay in Civil 3D. Okay, so if we just zoom in here, we've got our uh, existing road. Okay, we've got all our server line work and points and everything. And this is the section we're looking at here in the in, inside the yellow polyline. Um, and there's curbs either side, existing curbs that we need to tie back into um, as part of the overlay. Okay, so I'm just going to move this aerial image out of the way for a second. Okay, so this section here. And what I've done just in this drawing to start that is I've created the existing surface from all the survey lines and points and all of that. I've created a best fit alignment. Okay, along that alignment, I've created my existing profile, existing ground profile, which is what you see there. And then I've created cross sections at 10 meter intervals along that alignment. Okay, so if we look at a typical one here, we we'll just explain what we need to do. Okay, so there's our existing ground line. You've got your existing curbs that we need to tie back into here. Okay, so vertically we need to tie into the curbs at either end, the existing curbs, and then we also maintain need to maintain the existing road crown location. So in the X and Y it needs to it needs to stay at this point. So we've got we've got a couple of fixed uh, a couple of couple of fixed kind of constraints. Um, that, that kind of limit us in, in terms of our design. So what we need to end up with is is um, an overlay that looks something like this at, at this uh, particular section, shall we say. If I just move this down. Okay, so we're just we're going to overlay the road, put a new 3% slope on it. Okay, but because we're sort of fixed horizontally here and we're fixed vertically, and horizontally, I suppose at either end, you're kind of you're kind of limited. You you need to pick one side and start, and say we're going to make that three percent, and then the other side is whatever the the sort of resultant slope is to get back down to that level. Okay, I just picked the left hand side. You could start on the right hand side and do it, but but the slope will not cannot be the same on both sides of the road. So we need to we need to set up our corridor and our assembly to to achieve uh, this, and that's I suppose the. Um, that's what we're trying to do show in this video okay apart from that then on the right hand side there's there's going to be a new curb put in um, a new uh, a new kind of um, cycle path and then a small kind of edging or curb after that and then new uh, new footpath and then we're going to tie back into an existing path uh, up here so the level and kind of I would say the horizontal target for that one sort of varies so we have a line that we're going to target with that in plan Okay, so that's that's what we're trying to do. Okay, so I'm just going to move this stuff out of the way. And the first thing, the first thing we need to do is to uh, set up our assembly. Okay, so I'm going to go create assembly, and we'll just call this um, 100 mil overlay into curves 3% okay so we're applying this thing on the center line but we want to I suppose start from the left hand curve and come up with 3% and then come back down whatever percent we need to, to get to the other curve okay so I'm going to start with assemblies here I'm going to start with them um, link width and slope and we're just going to apply that on the left hand side so we'll say minus two here and then we're not worried about the slope or anything like that okay and then on to that we're going to attach a th this one okay and i'm going to set the slope of it to three percent okay so sloping up to three percent and then onto the edge of that, I'm going to attach another one sloping down at whatever percent there. So that, that, that'll be targeted. We don't need to worry about setting the percent, the slope of that. Okay, I'm just going to change the depth of these. So we have a total overlay depth of 100 mil, so 45 and 55. Okay. Um, Okay, so that's that's our assembly. We can name, we can rename these as well. It just makes it easier to see. Um, we'll say left lane. Um, right lane. And then 
also the one here in the background, this one here, which is link width and stuff. I can just leave leave it at that. But what we can also do with this one is, if we don't see the link, you can you can set this omit link thing to yes, and that won't show up on your cross section or anything like that. Okay. Uh, 